All right, YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, uh, subscribe to the channel. Take a break right now. I'm going to give you five seconds. Subscribe to that channel. Click the notification bell. That will really help me with all this testing and keep going, okay? All right, what we got here, I opened this. I'm not going to do an uh, unboxing because we like the action. We have the new spot welder. Uh, I was waiting for this, and it's available on the store from a -width. This is the new uh, UKF10 welder. This welder is 10.2 kilowatts, very affordable. I mean, for uh, what offer, uh, it's uh, probably in the $100 range, $109, something like that. Um, it came with the clicking bottom, you know, foot pedal, where you connect here. I like to use the automatic mode, which is now. This is the cable that came with a pretty cool. You, you can see it. We can put it here on top like this this one has the trigger in the cable if you notice here so we can trigger by here if we want to do it manual mode i like automatic personally and uh, this welder by curio ct let me show you it came with this box and this box is going to include two usb cables and the reason why it's because if you notice one is usb to usb c the other one usb uh 2.0 to usb all right do not include this welder surprisingly do not include a charger obviously so you use your own usb device it came with a piece of sandpaper to clean the tips it came with a sample strips uh i believe ah look at this it came with extra tips they are inside and i believe this is probably copper 0.1 probably if it's copper maybe it's co uh, nickel steel uh, i'm sorry no copper uh probably nickel steel i don't think it's gonna be pure you know how the companies are this is the box it's already out i'm not gonna waste time with that so now, what I have connected, I have connected uh, just uh, like a uh, Dell power supply. It worked perfectly here, charged perfectly. So you need to connect that for first time and charge the capacitor. It's not a battery, it's a capacitor. That's the cool part, two capacitors. And look at the look at the um, um, the menu from a with Very cool, very cool. Um, we uh, just turn this around, see, and we can go and change the gear in here. We press right now in gear 50, but we can change 51 all the way to 99. I'm going to start with gear maybe 60 for fun. Click again. We can change the trigger time, which I got that in 1.5 seconds. Uh, how many times we can weld. That's cool. One or two shots. That's very cool. I'm going to try. I haven't tested yet. In the mode, we can change the mode. That's for the language, English, uh, Chinese, or I don't know what language is. Uh, we have the menu here. I like using this. I wish the big welders, they have a, something similar as this because it's very convenient and it's not confusing at all. You can change even the click sound, the volume. I like it uh, loud. The the screen brightness, I like it. Obviously, I like it on 10. Um, uh, shutdown operation after eight minutes of inactivity is going to shut down itself. You can reset to factory. You can return to main menu. All right. It's not confusing. I really like that because the other one, even the big ones are kind of confusing sometimes. Okay. Uh, we have the preheat. I love it. I keep it in my favorite. It is 0 0.10, maybe 0 0.15 in this one. Let's, let's try in 0 0.10 first. Pause. I mean, we can do, you name it. Uh, again, gear. We are going to start probably in gear 60. I want to see what, what this welder can do. Okay. So let's start. And I'm going to, I'm not going to, waste time with uh, nickel 0 0.1 or 0 0.15 because I we expect that having the power that this welder have 10.2 to do all that however I have here ready two things I have here ready nickel 0 0.2 pure nickel that's going to be a good test because pure nickel in uh, even weak welders uh, I'm talking welders in this price range cannot do sometimes this kind of nickel so let's let's check it out uh, let me put it here to make sure we can see this correctly and look the brightness all right let's start by that i'm in 60 i don't maybe i don't know if we need more than that i will see i, I haven't tested again let's go it should be automatic there we go i am shooting only once because i want to see how good is that that was not bad at all for gear 60 let me grab one of this so let me see how strong was that well this is pure nick oh wow that's really good Wow, wow, in 60% only, pure nickel 0 0.2. Look at this. That's really impressive, okay? For the, for 0 0.2 pure. So I expect it can do as well 0 0.3. I was not expecting that. You know what? I'm, let me grab a 0 0.3 before we jump to the copper. Let me grab a 0 0.3. Wait one second here. Let me see where I got it. If I have, I don't know if I have. 0.3 do I have? No, I don't have probably. Left. Nope, I don't have 0.3. Let 
Sorry about that, guys. Let's go to the copper then. Same setting, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, okay? I wish we can do copper here. And I, again, I'm shooting only, this is 60% only the power. If we Maybe we need to go higher, maybe. No, yep, it came off. Welding copper is not easy. Well, guess what, it's thick. But I can take it out with the hands, okay? That's again, 60%, let's, let's crank this up. I, that was expected to be like that. Let's crank this up. Um, let me fix the. Let's go to gear now. Go oh, in the wrong setting here. Sixty. Let's crank this up to. Let's go ninety percent. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Let's see the capacity of this. Ninety-five percent. To see if we can do copper. Let me correct this. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. Let's lock the focus and let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Wow, that was a good hit. Let's see. Guys, this is copper. Yep, you leave it right there. Look at this. Remember, copper 0 0.1 is pretty soft. We expect that and leave the copper. That was a good, good weld. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, the copper is there. It can do 0 0.1. Now, let's do higher copper, okay? Let me get 0 0.15. Maybe we need flux, maybe. Let me get 0 0.15. With 0 0.1. All right. Obviously, I am very sure we're gonna need flux here. I don't think it's gonna stick 0 0.15. That's way, way higher. This is the limit of a key weld, and we are talking welders that cost a lot of money. All right, let's do one more just in case. Cool. I don't think it's gonna stick, obviously. This is pretty fake weld, uh, copper. Wow, look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that, it leave it, it leave the copper there. Look at that, it stick 0 0.15, this welder. Look at, it cross all the way, no joke. Look at this, guys. It can do 0 0.15, this $100 welder. Are you kidding me? That was a surprise. That was a surprise, incredible. Now, now, I don't think it's gonna do at all 0 0.2. You know what, let me clean this battery. Let's try 0 0.2 with flux, obviously. That would be the surprise of my life if this does that. To be fair, we need to clean the battery, obviously. Wow, 0 0.2, this is, hey, this is key weld territory. Key weld, uh, and we are talking about what? <laughs> wow, guys, look at this. Let's let's check it now, wow. Let me, let me grab, let me grab that 0 0.2. Not showing the evidence, but guys, believe me, it's, it is 0 0.2. And let's use uh, flux. I don't think this is gonna make it. Let me see, and this is 99, that's 95. I'm gonna put 99, 99%. I want the full power. Look at this, full power. And see what this thing can do. Ah, I'm excited. Let's see what this thing can do. Flux, to give the best opportunity. When we use flux, we don't use too much. Actually, I maybe cross the line here, but I wanna give the best opportunity to this welder. 0 0.2, are you kidding me? Let's see. Um, let me zoom this out really nicely here. Let me lock the focus and do this with nickel on top. By the way, guys, this is nickel steel. 0 0.1 is nothing else. And let's see if we can do this. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pressing hard. Not super, super hard. Oh, wow. I like when you see that smoke, it's a good sign. Again? Wow. 0 0.2 nickel. Uh, I'm sorry, copper 0 0.2 with nickel 0. Point. Look at that, look at that. I mean, it was not a super, super, super strong, but it make it. Let's see what we got here. Let me put this out like this. Let's see. 
it's not a super strong. I can I cannot call it that it make it. It's thick, but it's not. Hey, 0 0.2, come on. Not even, listen, not even the Glitter 811H. That is a $300 welder can do this, okay? Uh, I don't expect that from this welder. So, but it does 0 0.15 without, this one is, no, this, let me see which one is the 15. Yeah, this one is the 15. I want to see what it does with, with flux. We, do, we, we still have a little bit flux here, left over. Let me do one more with the flux. Ah, it's already compromised, but let's see what it does. Just for the fun, just for the fun. I don't think it's gonna do too much because... Yeah, it's not gonna stick because it's compromised already, but it's actually, look at this. Are you kidding me? 0 0.15, look at what it does this welder. This is gonna be a hot sell. Look at these guys with just a little bit left over the flux. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't have to test anything else here. I mean, <laughs> this is a winner. Look at how cool. So again, you use your um, favorite charger. In this case, I'm using, again, a Dell uh, power laptop power supply, which charge the capacitor very quickly. Um, look at this, guys. Incredible. See, the input is 5 to 20 volts. So it accepts um, PD, 20 volts at 2 amps, so 40 watts. That's, I maximize with the Dell power supply and woof, really, really nice unit, guys. Really nice unit. Um, it's on the store currently. I took the chance and I ordered 20 of them. I have 20 of them available in the store right now. This one is going to be my personal unit for testing. I really, I'm really surprised with the results. Are you kidding me? I mean, it can do copper. I mean, obviously we can do, if we can do this, we can do nickel zero, uh, zero sorry for the noise, 0 0.3. Um, this is going to be probably the hottest sell and the best purchase you can do uh, for low price. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for synchronizing my channel. Uh, click the subscription, uh, uh, subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And thank you for supporting the store. Have a good one, guys.